Time to tune in, not another sports center. It's a movement. All right, so the next next thing we're gonna take and cover. So th- this is this isn't necessarily breaking news, but within the last uh, I think it was like five days or so, we took we found out that the NFL is allowing teams to go back to throw back helmets, of course, with their choice. Now this is exciting because uh, you know I, I think uh, every NFL team, even you know me, I, I'm a Miami Dolphins fan, right? So uh, some people love the new logo. Some people like the 1972 logo. You know. With the Rams uh, for you, Adrian, or the Broncos for you, Mike. Um, but we were talking earlier, and this is very interesting. The Texans, all right, Houston Texans, okay? M- remember, they used to uh, kind of be the Oilers, right? But then they relocated over to the Tennessee Titans, right, uh, to become the Tennessee Titans. And then the Texans took and came. They, they, they were ultimately – Houston was granted a team, Okay. Now, my question of the day here today is who gets to hoist the Houston Oilers helmet? Let's open up the floor. What you guys think? Ooh, it's a tough one for me, man, because my gut says if you took the franchise and you moved it somewhere else, it should stick with the original franchise. However, because they have put another franchise back in the location of the now defunct franchise, the Oilers, there is one that is also Houston. I think it makes sense for Houston to be able to represent its history by representing that team, even though it's not, even though technically, right, the Texans never were the Oilers. Uh, this more this This move for me is more about geography, than actual history of the team. And it's a it's an interesting situation, right? I think back to like um, the Cleveland Browns when the Browns were sold to Baltimore and be, ultimately became the Ravens and Cleveland didn't have a team, right? They didn't, there, there were no Browns well, like anymore. Three, four years without a team. Right. So my thing is if, if, there, if there was no Browns today, right? If the Browns had just become the Ravens and that had been the end of the story, are the Ravens going to throw back to a completely different team? Would they be throwing back to a Browns helmet right now? Like, would we allow that? Mm. Even though there's no history there in that, there's no history there in that city. Uh, you know, so for me, as much as I know, it's probably going to piss some people off because I, I've heard the debate before and it's like, absolutely. Tennessee should be able to wear the Houston Oilers. You know, they got the similar powder blues and stuff like that. It, it should be Tennessee that does it. But for me, because there is a franchise in Houston, uh, I think the Texans should be the ones to sport the Oiler throwbacks. Sue me. I, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. I want to add in an extra point, too, because I believe there's a demographic of people, right? You know, where because remember, there was a few years before the Texans came after they, the, you know, they left the left from becoming the Oilers to becoming the Titans. Right. Some time it went by and there's a certain there's a certain group of fans out there who are like, Oh no, I'm a Titans fan. Wait, 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 wait. Houston has a team now. I'm torn. You know, like you're, you're going to feel some type of way, you know, kind of thing. So um, yeah, man, you know, it's, it's just, it's just one, it, it's just so weird, but yeah, I, I think it's just weird because Oilers, like I, I'm not a big geography guy, but I, I mean, does, does Tennessee have oil there? You know, I don't know. It, it, it's kind of like with the Lakers, you know, the Lakers initially were in Minnesota, you know what I mean? But there's not a whole bunch of lakes in LA, but uh, ask know. Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones will tell you if there's oil in Tennessee. Uh, <laughs> the, fact that, the fact that Jerry Jones is still in Dallas, he's still chilling in Texas. I would venture to say there is not oil in Tennessee. And if there is, it's nowhere near the oil fields that they had down in Texas that made him a multi-million slash billionaire, whatever, you, whatever his, dollar designation is yeah uh, he made his bread in texas the oil rigs the oil fields were in texas still in texas just not <laughs> as big as they are now houston yeah. oilers in houston i, I the, 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 this is like a really good debate at first i was like man i don't even the, to me seeing the players uh excited about the tennessee titans players excited about wearing the oilers throwbacks um it does bring it to debate man because the texans don't have the texans have had the same logo since they've been a team what throwback are they throwing back to? It's, there's nothing to throw back to, right? The Titans have had a couple changes that they could 
outside of the Oilers, you know, have an alternative helmet. But realistically, with the Titans and some of the baby blue, in my opinion, that's one of the top four helmets, you know, of the throwbacks. I, I think, you know, it's going to hurt. And I know this is what we were talking about, but like the Bucks probably have one of the best. Mm-hmm. Like the Bucks, Which one? The, with the the orange reddish the, with the, the, the cream sickle with the pirate the actual the buccaneer that, on there that oh, has the to, yes that has to yes. be the cleanest throwback helmet the broncos and this isn't a bias the broncos throwback with uh you know the broncos the, the d, the d with voice. the with the bronco coming out of it that that's i agree with that statement but the the oilers the color combination i mean a big oil rig isn't the, the most exciting thing but that color man that baby blue with that uniform uh, I think is one of the top three. So I think that's causing some of it, man. But the Texans, they don't got nothing to throw back to. They'd have to change their helmet just to be able to wear a helmet that they had in the past because they don't have that history. So um, it'll be interesting to see. But I also understand that the Texans have a great uniform, so that's why they haven't really changed much. Um, but I think, man, it's going to be a good debate. But just seeing the players, man, like, hold on. I think I pulled it up like Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry put, thank you, load, L-A-W-W-D-D-D. When they made that rule change because he is so excited about wearing those throwback helmets. Um, and Taylor Lewan said, or the blue uniforms this year. So the players for the Titans are super excited. And I think they're assuming they're going to get to wear it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I mean, who knows, right? They might say, hey, you guys have to wear the other Tennessee Titan helmet, not the Oiler one. So it'll be interesting, interesting to see for sure. Well, Mike, I think this is the first time in history, right, where we have this situation where a team that was in a previous geographical location is moved somewhere else, but they've also now put another team there um, back in the one that was, that was moved out. Um, We were talking earlier before the show started, we were talking about um, the jets, right. When they, before they were, no, it wasn't the jets. It was Packers where they had like the Titan uniform or whatever. They were a whole different, it was a whole different name. Like one of these other guys were Titans before Titans were in Tennessee. It was like throwback to, I think I want to say like the sixties or something like that. Um, So like, I think we've seen that happen one time. And when those uniforms rolled out, I think they only used it for like what, one or two Sundays and nobody knew what the heck was going on. Uniforms weren't clean at all. Uh, So I, yeah, I just think it's going to be unique. You bring, you know, the players are super hype. I don't want to disappoint the players. I, (laughs) you know, you definitely don't want to piss them off. I don't think there's a good clean, solution to any of this i think no matter what you're gonna probably have a 50 50 split right down right down the middle between fans and players depending on who they allow to wear the oilers um and here's the thing if they allow either of them to they might just say hey oilers you guys can throw back to your older titan helmets texans we're sorry you don't have anything to throw back to but the oilers because it's just going to create too much crap and we're still mired in a bunch of other controversy as the NFL. We're not going to even open this can of worms with the Oilers. Oilers is going to stay retired, retired. Absolutely. And, and, and y'all, I'm going to take and have a poll on our Twitter page. It's uh, the touchdown with Doug Smith, uh, but I'm sorry, on Twitter, it's going to be touchdown Doug. That's it. Just at touchdown Doug. And there's going to be a poll up on there. It's going to be, uh, I'll probably take and start it here with the next 24 hours when this episode drops. But follow us on Twitter and let us know what you think. Drop a comment. Let me let me know what you think. Time to tune in. Now the another sports center. It's a movement.